Internet sleuths are speculating Brian Laundry made Gabby Petito sell her clothes on Depop to fund their van life road trip. The account's bio reads, custom, vintage, gently worn, and brand new. All items, which date back to a year ago, were sold at prices that ranged between $5 to $65, although it is not clear when those sales were made. Among the items listed for sale, there appear to be bookmarks covered in blood designed by laundry. Retailing for $5, the bookmarks came in a variety of designs, some of which feature birds, penguins, and even a shadowed outline of the Marvel Comics character Hellboy, a known favorite of laundries. Another of the designs, titled Chuck Palahniuk Custom, includes a stamp of two angels facing one another over a fountain. Overlaid on top of them is a bright pink lipstick mark. The mark is seen placed inside Polonik's famed novel, Fight Club, which Laundry frequently referenced in his artwork and on his social media pages. Droplets of blood and red smudges are eerily seen splattered across the book and bookmark. A second design, a black outline of a dead mockingbird, is also advertised for sale next to a copy of Polonik's horror satire novel Lullaby, which Gabby and Laundry spoke about reading during their doomed adventure. Online detectives believe the couple, who left for their cross-country travels in June 2021, used their earnings to pay off expenses for the trip. In the pictures featured on the site, drops of blood and red smudges appear to have been splattered across the book and bookmark. Online sleuths believe the couple, who left for their cross-country travels in June 2021, used their earnings to pay off expenses for the trip. Bad feelings become violent motifs. Dr. Orna Guralnik, a clinical psychologist and psychoanalyst from New York, analyzed Laundry's artwork and told The Sun, many people translate difficult feelings that they have inside to violent images. Many people translate bad feelings into violent motifs, she said. Then there can be people in the throes of various mental illnesses that can be kind of bombarded with violent images that are representations of how they feel inside. Laundry was known to suffer from an anxiety disorder but has not been officially linked to other mental disorders. Guralnik said that she believes Laundry killed his fiance Gabby, revealing the 23-year-old was either extremely sociopathic or mentally ill. The psychologist claimed that Laundry displayed sociopathic during an encounter with the police in Moab, Utah, following a 911 call about a domestic violence incident between the pair on August 12. He knew how to play with the cops, he knew how to be charming, Guralnik said. Sociopaths are good at reading a certain aspect of their environment and creating a certain kind of ease and creating a certain vibe that helps them get away with whatever they need to get away with. Guralnik believes a particular, very small subset population will actually go and act on these images and, based on the provided evidence and background information, said that laundry is classified in that small group. DNA Investigation a DNA match may be needed to determine if Laundry killed his fiancé because both of the remains have been exposed to different elements and various animals for multiple weeks. The outlet said that the DNA investigation could be complicated as the two were romantically involved and lived in close proximity. Reconstruction experts can do amazing things, so I would not be surprised if at some point we got a definitive, or near definitive, conclusion that Laundry was the killer, said Bob Jarvis, a law professor. Gabby's body was found at the park three to four weeks after she was strangled to death, Dr. Brent Blue, the coroner of 10 County, Wyoming, said. Forensic anthropologists are investigating Laundry's remains to determine how he was killed. Officials have not revealed if there were any witnesses during or after the homicide. They had been found in an area that, until recently, had been submerged in floodwaters caused by hurricanes last month. A key indicator to the case is that Laundry used Gabby's credit card after she was reported missing. A journal was found near his skull and bones that could also clue experts into what happened. Laundry notebook could reveal Gabby murder truth claims behavior analyst. We pay for your stories. Do you have a story for the US Sun team?